All right, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, as always, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachaha, Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, <coughs> which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And Um, I wanted to do a response video to this deportation, as you see right here. And this video was uploaded by uh, Cash Jordan. Now, without further ado, I'm going to play the video and continue from there. The promise of Donald Trump's presidential campaign was mass deportations. New York City has about 400,000 undocumented immigrants. If that promise comes to pass, it would have a huge impact on life in the city. So around 476,000 individuals live in New York City who are undocumented. And now they're worried that that might not last too much longer. Because even though this is America's largest sanctuary city, which still houses around 60,000 asylum seekers, many immigrants of all backgrounds are are very worried that federal agents could soon be here looking for them. A president-elect Trump promising mass deportations on day one of his second term. And today, thousands of protesters took to the streets in a show of solidarity and defiance against Trump. And we're here to send a message loud and clear after the election that even though uh, this administration is going to target immigrant communities, that we're here to stay. New York is a sanctuary city where undocumented immigrants are largely shielded from immigration agents. Those convicted of Serious crimes do face deportation, but police commanders believe they're a tiny percentage of the thousands who poured into the city. Trump's pick for border czar Tom Homan promises to carry out his mass deportation plan with or without the cooperation of so-called sanctuary cities. We'll know who we're going to arrest, where we're most likely to find them. He's setting up right now a battle, a battle between the federal government and the state and city government. Can a locality decide to circumvent federal immigration laws and prohibit federal law enforcement from doing its job. Look, if, if we can't get assistance from New York City, even we may have to double the number of agents we send in New York City. With stories like this becoming the new normal across America, it's becoming obvious something's got to be done to get bad actors out of our country. But what nobody's talking about is that progressive leaders and activists in sanctuary cities are once again trying to paint this as some sort of mean-spirited crackdown against every immigrant who lives here. When it's the gang members that shouldn't be here who are targeting and exploiting law-abiding immigrants and asylum seekers. And this exploitation starts south of the border when many enlist the help of guides to travel into America, only to discover they're now prisoners of gangs and cartels who they owe massive debts to for their help getting into the country. And what most people don't know is that these gangs, they photograph and mark people before they bring them here, creating a permanent record some asylum seekers can never escape from, leading to that vulnerable person being exploited not only on their way to America, but even after that, because when they arrive in a sanctuary city like New York, gang members are here waiting for them in many of our asylum shelters. And when people who've fled poverty and traveled thousands of miles enter these places, dangerous criminals waste no time sizing up each and every one of them regardless of who they are for their value as human capital that can be put to work in service of their gang. Which brings us to the real reason why many people voted for a president who would carry out these deportations. This looks like the only way to remove dangerous criminals and gang members from cities across the country, especially the sanctuary cities. Yet even after winning a landslide presidential election, the Trump administration will have its work cut out for it because because sanctuary cities like New York have rules in place to stop them at every turn, like laws that make it illegal for local police who've arrested these gang members before and know who they are and where they live to help ICE get them off the streets. But as you're about to see, Trump's new border czar is kind of the opposite of our current border czar, and he says he's going to deport people from sanctuary cities whether they help him.
Sirius XM NFL Radio is your home for everything NFL playoffs. Get live home and away broadcasts for every playoff game and 24-7 coverage with the Sirius. Sanctuary cities, whether they help him or not. So this massive building here, this is the Stewart Hotel. It's a former hotel. It's now being used as a shelter for asylum seeker families. It's right here in Midtown by Penn Station and Madison Square Garden. And although there could be deportation agents here after Trump's second term starts, the people they'll be looking for aren't who most New Yorkers think they are. What do mass deportations look like, Chad? You target individuals, you remove dangerous criminals, you have to prioritize. The department actually deports individuals every single day. Now, under this administration, they have been at historic lows. And as you mentioned, the number so it looks like these deportation efforts, they're going to focus on dangerous criminals and gang members. And it also looks like people currently get deported every single day in America. And although there have been fewer deportations than normal and way more border crossings than normal over the last few years, which has led to more of the wrong people making their way into the country, it sounds like the Trump administration is not going to be looking to round up millions of people and send them somewhere. No. In fact, they've only got about 6,000 deportation agents right now. Yes, they could hire more, but it would take time to go through that process. And the resources really aren't there for what many activists in New York claim everybody should be afraid of. And some of the activists at these protests, they're U.S. citizens. They don't have anything to worry about, or they're green card holders with permanent residency. On top of that, asylum seekers have a legal right to remain in America while their court case plays out, which means most of the folks who live here, they don't have anything to worry about either, unless they're all already wanted by federal immigration authorities for something. You concentrate on the public safety threats and the national security threats first. Because those are the worst of the worst. So it's going to be the worst first. That's how it has to be done. And we know a record number of people on the terrorist watch list have crossed this border. We know a record number of terrorists have been released in this country. Already... Who could possibly be against that? If somebody's on a terror watch list, their presence in America puts all Americans and any law-abiding resident in danger. And it even puts people in danger... So um, that's about as much as the video I'm going to currently play. As you heard in the video, okay, um, there are, they say that dangerous uh, immigrants coming over here as gang members have been, you know, targeting particular people, uh, you know, they have been targeting, you know, law abiding citizens committing homicide. And I'm just going to tell you right now. OK, Esau have satellites. When I say Esau, Edom, I'm talking about the self-proclaimed white man, uh, namely the ones that operate behind the U.S. government. They have satellites up above the atmosphere of the earth that can spot an ant on the ground. Esau knows of all these different gang members that come from Mexico, from Mesoamerica and from South America. If Esau really wanted to stop these dangerous gang members from entering past the borders of the United States of America into the country itself, Esau would have done that. He would have done just that. You see, these Edomites know exactly what they are doing. And they are purposely allowing these different gang members from different countries to enter United, the United States of America. Because there is a saying amongst the so-called elites called Ordo Ab Chao, which is Latin for order out of chaos. They want these different gang members, <clears throat> dangerous gang members, okay? Gang members that are known for, you know, they are known for beheading. Okay. They are known for beheading rival gang members, recording it on camera, you know, and then uploading it to internet, to two websites like Best Gore. 
websites similar to Best Gore, you know, gang members that go around, you know, beheading rival gang members, you know, brutally, you know, put a shoot shooting and killing rival gang members, you know, these are gang members that are known for doing these type of things, okay? The that are being allowed into the country to purposely, you know, stir up panic, chaos, uncertainty, mayhem, you know, and this is what the so-called elites want. Another reason why they're allowing these dangerous gang members in, into the country, because Esau, the, the, the self-proclaimed white man, the so-called elites, who call themselves Rothschilds and Rockefellers, <clears throat> Rothschilds or Rockefellers, they want an excuse. They're looking for a reason or an excuse to really persecute the whole nation of Israel, which is really the plans and, and the agenda of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahawashai. Because, um, you know, our people, especially the northern tribe, which the majority of the immigrants that's coming over here across the borders from the uh, uh, from different countries, the majority of them are, are from uh, the northern tribes. OK. And well, like it tells you, I believe in Hosea, it tells you that Ephraim it is given to idols. Now, when it says Ephraim, it's not just talking about one tribe. No, Ephraim is talking about the 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 northern tribes. OK, uh, Manasseh, which will be the Cubans. Uh, uh, the um, Simeon, which will be the uh, Dominicans, Ephraim, which will be the Puerto Ricans. OK, uh, uh, the tribe of Asher, which will be the Colombians to to the to the Yerugians, if I'm saying that correctly, okay, Ishakar, the tribe of Ishakar, which will be the Mexicans, okay, the um, Reuben, which will be the uh, the so-called Seminole Indians, Gad, which will be the, the so-called North American Indians, okay, uh, Zebulon, which will be the, um, the, the, uh, 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 the Panamians, to the Guatemalans, Guatemalans to Panamians, okay, Naphtali, which will be the Argentinians to Chileans, okay. These are the northern tribes that have become heavy into idol worship, okay. And this heavy idol worship started, it really started ever since, you know, the, 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 the northern tribes became heavy into idol worship <clears throat> after the split during King Solomon's reign, okay? Because when you do when when you do your history, King Solomon had worshiped the idols. You know, he he pretty much worshiped the idols uh, of his women. Okay, he set up groves in high places for for these different false gods. You know, he got heavy into um, witchcraft, sorcery, you know. Okay. He got heavy into sorcery, idol, uh, idol worship, and, and the Lord well, was upset about that. So, you know, he pretty much, uh, uh, you know, broken up our nation by causing a huge split, you know, and and pretty much when when uh, Jeroboam, OK, when he, um, you know, when he got hold of the 10 other tribes, Ephraim became really heavy into idol worship because Jeroboam, which was a very wicked individual amongst our nation, OK, he led our nation into heavy uh, idol worship, the worship of, uh, uh, of, of the idols of these different nations, you know, and, and our people was heavy and, 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 you know, 
Our people was heavy into, you know, child sacrifice, human sacrifice. Our people was was burning child, their children on uh, upon the altars, which is it's murder, you know, because when you sacrificing your child to idols, that that's murder. You know. You know, it, it's not just, uh, you know. It, 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 it's, you're not just worshiping idols. You're also committing murder, man, because you, you're sacrificing, you're sacrificing your children, you know, to idols for for uncertain power for for uncertain power, man. You know, to gain power from these false idols, and, and the scriptures tell you that you know these idols are are no more than stone, wood, silver. Okay. Which cannot see nor hear, neither is there any breath in them. But but the belief systems of our people have convinced them that, that there is life in these idols because they have been corrupted. Okay. They have been corrupted. So <clears throat> You know, you know, uh, part of the reason why our people is um, the reason why the Lord is so angry with our people is because, well, they have broken the first commandment, which what's a part of the first commandment? Thou shall have no other gods before the heavenly father, Yahweh. Okay, neither shalt thou make unto thee any graven image, nor any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath. You see, the Lord is still angry with our people, especially the northern tribe, because the northern tribes are the most heaviest into idol worship. Okay, Santa Maria, worshiping Mary, okay, war worshiping Apis the bull. <laughs> okay. You know. They're, they're worshiping uh, uh, Chedre Borgia, uh, uh, um, the Ishakar and Ephraim are heavy into the worship of 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 uh, of um, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna just say, it. even though I hate saying that word, you know, I hate saying the the word Jesus because Jesus is not the name of the Messiah. The true name of the, of the Messiah, which can only be uttered. In, in the uh, the Lashawan Kwadash or the Paleo Hebrew, his name is Yahawashai. Okay, he Yahawashai has a Hebrew name. Well, the Messiah has a Hebrew name, and his his name in the Hebrew is Yahawashai. Okay, but you know, Ephraim and uh. Ishakar, they're especially heavy into the, uh, the the worship of these false gods. So you see, our people need to repent because when they come over here to the United States of America, well, when when they when they come over here to the United States of America, they bring their idols with them. Okay, they bring their idols from their different countries with them. OK. You know, they come over here to the Americas, they bring their idols with them, their false gods, and they think that the Lord is just going to allow them to stay in this country, man. That's why when we go to the book of Isaiah, chapter nine, verse 17, this is what it says. Therefore, the Lord have, shall have no joy in their young men, because a lot of these immigrants that come over here amongst the northern tribes, a lot of them are young. Neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows, for everyone is a hypocrite and an evildoer. When you worship idols, that makes you an evildoer. OK, that makes you an evil. <laughs> that makes you an evildoer, man. You know. 
And, and there's more evildoers amongst the northern kingdom than there is amongst the southern kingdom. And the reason why I say that is because there's more Latinos uh, amongst our nation than there is, you know, of Judah, Benjamin or Levi, because, you know, most of the northern kingdom are, are Latinos, man. Latinos and so-called native Indians. Even the native Indians and the Seminole Indians can pass it as uh, Latinos. OK. So the Lord is especially angry at the northern kingdom, and that's why. He, he used his left hand side to nominate Trump as the president. OK, and he he's all and the Lord also allowed another uh, Edomite, uh, Tom Holman, you know, he's hell bent on getting you, 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 you northern kingdom out of the United States of America, you know, because Esau, Esau, he doesn't care if you over here trying to do the right thing. You're just trying to live a simple life and, you know, help your family grow. You know, you could be you could be doing good over here trying to live a simple life. But if, if but if you're a Latino and you're to you're into idol worship. <clears throat> OK, if you're a Latino and, and you're heavy into idol worship. The Lord, the Lord is going to allow the so-called white man to have you deported out of the United States of America. Now, if you're of the Latino tribes here in the United States of America, but you're honestly trying to serve Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahawashai, to the best of your ability, but well, the Lord might have mercy on you and he, he might actually allow you to stay here in the United States, okay? Because there's a lot of brothers in this truth, you know, uh, of, you know, especially a part of Great Millstone that are, that are uh, of the, uh, the northern tribes. They're actually, you know, they're worshiping Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahawashai, you know? So the Lord... The Lord, the Lord can have mercy, you know, the Lord can have mercy on uh, 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 the, those brothers, you know. But if you have your worship in idols, well, hey, like the scriptures say, the Lord is a jealous power. For everyone is an hypocrite and an evil doer and every mouth speaketh folly, you know, and one way you can speak folly is, is you know, Talking about how you worship idols and, you know, <laughs> you know, talking about how great this idol is and that idol is. And when these idols, the, the, the gods of the nations are idols, man. OK, trash. So, you know, you got a lot of you got a lot of our people amongst the northern kingdom that is heavy into worshiping idols, you know. And they're not going to repent. They're going to keep on worshiping idols, you know, and, they, and some of these Latino tribes, their houses are littered with idols. I mean, you go in the living room, they got a couple of idols there. You go in their kitchen, they got an idol, you know, you go in their bedroom, they got pictures of idols. You know, you go in their bathroom, they got an idol uh, uh, sit, sitting on the, uh, the upper part of their toilet. They got a, they got two more sitting, sitting on their sinks. So for all this, his anger, whose anger? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahawashai's anger. Okay, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. And this is talking to, you know, his, his hand, it, that, that's talking about his left hand side. Okay. And who who's the left hand of the of, of, of the Heavenly Father? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. That's why in the book of Psalms, the 17th chapter, what do it say? Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Who's the wicked? That's the self-proclaimed white man, the Edomites. Malachi 1 and 4, you know, and the Lord is going to use his left hand 
to punish our people for their iniquity, for, for worshiping idols, man. Okay? So you you northern tribes, you don't want to repent. You don't want to you don't want to cast away your idols. And you can't there ain't no excuses because we got we got uh, uh brothers in different GMS camps that 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 can speak Spanish. That they can speak different languages. So you're being told Okay. You're 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 being told to to put away your idols and to come back to the Lord. But now you want to rebel. No, 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 Holmes. No, no, you know, no good. Give those Christ those Christos the way, bro. No, I'm telling you, man, that that's the Messiah. That's the Messiah, bro. See? So <clears throat> you see? Now, 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 uh, the Heavenly Father is using his left hand to have y'all deported. And these deportations is no more than a smoke screen to really have y'all put in concentration camps. Because Esau, he got alternative motives. Remember, there, there used to be a saying amongst the, uh, the Gadites, the so-called North American Indians, the so-called white man speaks with a forked tongue. Okay, he'll say one thing but then in his mind, he means something else. He's talking about deportations, but it could actually be a scheme to put all of y'all into concentration camps. You understand? It could all be a scheme to put y'all into concentration camps. Talking about the Latinos get deported today. But behind the scenes, y'all are really being taken to concentration camps where you're going to be presented with a chip. And if you take that chip, you're going to be destroyed. Like it tells you in Revelation 14. OK. Like it tells you in, in uh, Revelation 14. If any, uh, Reve was that Revelation 14 and 9 to 10? If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his hand or in his forehead, the same shall uh, drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out with a mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamp. You know? And, and a lot of y'all, Esau is just going to off. Because remember, it goes back to that to that that hatred, that perpetual hatred, like it tells you in um, Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. You know, see, you Latinos, you going to learn real quick that these Edomites do not love you. They don't love any of us. They hate our guts and they really want to just see us just killed off. OK, even though an Edomite might smile in your face, he may shake your hand, but in the back of his head, he really don't want you in this country. Because it goes back to that hatred, man. Um, and uh, what is that? You know, Genesis, the book of Genesis. OK, it goes back to the book of Genesis where Esau uh, 27, Genesis 27, the 27th chapter. Well, when Esau said in his mind, the days of his father's uh, 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 death is at hand, then will he slay his brother Jacob? Okay. See, these so-called elites, the Rothschilds and Rockefellers, which are Edomites, descendants of Esau, they know the truth. And they know what happened to their forefather Esau. They know that 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 we come from Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, and they know about how our forefather Jacob supplanted their forefather Esau out of his birthright and out of out of his blessing. And they ain't never forgave us for for you know them losing the birthright. And the blessings of the kingdom of heaven to us. They ain't never forgave us. And they don't intend on ever forgiving us. Okay? 
You know, really, the only reason why we're still here in this country is really because of the will of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. Because remember, Proverbs uh, 20, verse 24, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? You see, the Lord have allowed you, you northern tribes, to stay here in the Americas because really he was giving you a chance to repent, to turn away from your idols. But, you know, he see that you're not repenting. You're still bowing down to idols. You're, you're still saying to, to, to the stone and to the rock, thou has made me and, and, and to the, the wood or to the silver and gold, thou has brought me forth. So you know what? The Lord said, fuck y'all. You know, y'all ain't allowed to be here in, in, in the Americas, you know? So, so the Lord is about to judge our nation using his sword, okay? And he's going, hey, you heard Donald Trump, right? He's going to have the military go, going from house to house, taking people out of their homes. And that's in 2nd Ezra 16. They shall cast them out of their houses, okay? Esau is going to use the military, which is really going to be the UN troops, okay? Because you know, Esau is talking about a massive deportation you know, which which that that goes to show you that Esau is a hypocrite because you're talking about illegal immigrants coming over here. Well, what about the sleeper cells that came over here, you know, that are, you know, Chinese, Japanese, you know, East Indians, Arabs, Africans that are a part of the U.N. Army. You know, they're sleeper cells waiting to be activated. Are they going to be deported, too? They will be considered illegal immigrants, right? You over here giving them money, you know, give, giving them finances to live in these these uh these luxurious houses. But anyways, Isaiah. Okay, Isaiah chapter ten verse five. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger, right? The modern day Assyrians will be the self-proclaimed white man. And the staff in their hand is mine indignation. Okay, so the Lord is going to use the so-called white man. Okay, okay, the, the, the Edomites, that's the rod of the Lord's anger. Okay, I will send him against a hypocritical nation. Okay, in which our people are a bunch of hypocrites. Okay, and against the people of my wrath, will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. So that's what's going to happen. The Lord is going to use his left hand, which is his sword. Okay, Psalm 17. He's going to use his left hand to tread our people down like the mire of the streets. So, you know, the persecution is coming, man. Okay. And how do we know that? Well, when we go to Revelation, the 12th chapter, what do we read there? Okay, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. These devils know they have but a, a short time to rule, okay? So they're, 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 they're gonna come down with great wrath. And who's the devil? It's not talking about the spiritual demon Satan. Satan works for the heavenly father, okay? The devil is, is talking about the so-called white man, okay? Th these Edomites go by many different names in the holy scriptures. They're, they're known as the wicked, the evil. They're, you know, they're known as the devil. They're also known as Satan. They're known as the son of perdition, the man of sin. Okay? They're also known as Edom, Red you know, the wicked. So, you know, these these, these so-called elites, they're getting ready to come down with great wrath upon our nation. And there's a great persecution coming. And if you're not right with the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, the Lord is going to allow you to be taken by this persecution. OK, because the, the, when these sleeper cells are activated, they're not going to be nice or, or, or kind 
to you Latino tribes, man. You're all going to be looked at as terrorists, you know, in which really Esau plans on coming after all of us. OK, let's just face it, you know, because a great persecution towards our whole nation is going to be underway. So, you know, the, the Lord is angry with our people, man. And his 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 anger, his his anger. Um, the Lord is still angry with our people, as I read in Isaiah nine and seventeen. Okay, but His hand is still stretched out, still. So you want to keep provoking the Lord to jealousy with, with your damn idols? Hey, <laughs> be my guest. But um, know that there's going to be a severe consequence behind that. OK. There's going to there's going to be a severe consequence behind the worshiping of these different idols, man. OK. Let me see. Yeah. Beautiful. I still have it up. Second address. Let's get that in second Ezra 16, because see. Everything that's written in the Holy Scriptures is faithful and true. Second Ezra 16, verse 70, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like mad. And who's, who fear the Lord? We uh, we Israelites do. OK, they shall be like madmen sparing none. Who, who's that? Now, that's the Edomites. They shall be like madmen sparing none. OK, you better best believe there's going to be Edomites, a part of the U.N. army as well. From from different countries, okay, Russian troops, they're Edomites, okay, European troops, they're Edomites, okay. You gonna have European troops, uh, a part of the UN army, that's gonna be coming after us, okay. So keep thinking, this is a game, man. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, okay. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. That's going to happen during the time of of a martial law, because you heard Donald Trump. He said he's going to use the military to uh, hunt y'all down, take snatch y'all out of your houses and put y'all on the back of trucks. Rather, if it's a FEMA truck or a deportation truck, which more than likely is going to be a FEMA truck. Because Esau, you know, he really don't want to deport you. He really want to just kill you off in concentration camps. OK, and didn't he say that he was <laughs> didn't didn't he say that he was setting up internment camps, man? But, um, OK, they shall waste to take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So you're going to have some members of the elect. OK, that's going to be getting persecuted during these times as well. But, hey, you know, if you're of the elect, I hope the Lord blesses you, you brothers of the northern tribes with spiritual power, you know, to to defend yourself and your family, you know, uh, against Esau's military. Because the persecution is coming, you know? So, hey, you know, for all you brothers worshiping Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, hey, may Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, bless y'all with spiritual power, okay? You know, to, to, to defend yourself and your family, because the, the, the persecution is coming, you know? But with that, I'm gonna say Shalom, it's on to the next one.